friends, welcome to another vlog. Okay, wait, 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 wait. what month are we in? If you're wondering why I'm sitting on the floor, I felt like it would be a good background because my cr Josina is currently in quarantine. The other day, Cedric and I found some mealybugs in my Josina. I realized there was these little white fuzzy bugs on it. I was like, hey, I can't touch this. Like, we're gonna throw the whole thing out if you don't help me. He took a cotton swab and wiped it down every single bug and larva between every single leaf and fold. What I did was spray it down with a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and water and then I let that sit for a bit and then gave the whole plant a whole shower. So now he's in quarantine just to be safe. Update, he's back with the rest of society. So is my parlor palm because they are spider mite free, mealy bug free, and we might be dealing with thrips now, but I'll get there. So typically my day has been forcing myself to wake up early, check on my plants, every single one of my plants, and by checking on them I just go to see if any of them need watering. And then after I've done taking care of my plants, I go and eat breakfast, and after I eat breakfast, I do my work for the day, which is either editing, filming, or marketing. By the time the sun goes down, my workday is pretty much almost over sometimes. Sometimes it runs late depending on my editing. Um, and then I try to do a workout on Fit On because I find that if I force myself to work out, I'm more tired at night and then when I hit the bed, I just zonk out, which is the best case scenario because a couple weeks ago, my sleeping schedule was really bad where I was staying up really late, not being able to go to sleep, waking up really late, feeling unproductive because my whole day was over and the sun was down. So yeah, I've just been keeping to the schedule for the last couple weeks or so and it's been pretty good. I feel like mentally my mental health space is a lot more clearer, a lot more brighter, a lot more better. Yeah, I just filmed the video for San Serval and Silvanas, uh, which is a Filipino slash French dessert which is super delicious so if you want to check that out. But yeah, I'm in the works of planning out a menu and a Valentine's Day kit so I've just been kind of busy with my bakery side of stuff and videos as always um, and I decided I'm just going to keep up these monthly vlogs. I think it's a good idea for me to kind of remember how life is going um, during this time. Also, speaking of the times, I bought this book, Ronnie Bear's Health Scare. It's so cute. It's a little children's book about safety during COVID. Because the proceeds go towards a children's hospital, I thought it was a pretty good uh, cause. But I also wanted to buy this not because I have kids right now, but when I do have kids, this will be kind of like a little preview of what it's like. And so I can be like, you know, this is what your mom went through back in the day. Cedric thought it was a good idea too. So it's the illustrations are super cute. It's very informative for children. It's a uh, good buy. You can get it on Amazon, actually. Is it kind of weird that I'm keeping it as a souvenir of COVID-19? Maybe. But I think my kids in the future will find it interesting. So I hope they appreciate. I miss my friends. I miss going out. I'm glad. I'm doing okay. I'm healthy. I'm safe. My family's healthy and safe. And yeah. It's the weekend. So it's Friday. We've got some beers. Today we are trying zap sour ipa i kind of like it cedric doesn't really like it i feel like it tastes like grapefruit and we're watching i already forgot what it's called what is this called night stock freaky highly recommend <laughs> we just got chat time so we've moved our bubble teas out <laughs> and now we are in my parents hot tub which they actually bought uh, when COVID first hit and everyone was just like stuck at home and my dad has been wanting a hot tub for like years now so finally took the opportunity to get one Me. <laughs> Hi buddy <laughs> We are back at it watching Night Stalker again until we finish this but snack of the day, shrimp chips, yum yum. We're having some midnight snacks. I'm eating a little souffle cake. It's cheese, it's kind of like a mini Japanese souffle cheesecake. So good. It's only 99 cents at the grocery store. We're back in the same spot as we've been all weekend, 
this time we're watching serenity with who's this matthew mcconaughey and today's snack is milka's dark milk chocolate which is milk chocolate with extra cocoa all right so i'm about to film a voiceover for my boba tea popsicles i may have just cut my forehead on this shelf here okay well i've been icing my head for the past 10 minutes or so the urge to cry has subsided <laughs> and now because i have an allergy to cold i've got hives on my head so we have finished filming our voiceover it's about to get dark out as it does during the winter at this point i call my day over i think i'm gonna just go for a run Cedric got me these new running shoes because I guess we both realized our running shoes were kind of old and by old I mean worn out so these are my new shoes but I mean they're super cute matches my outfit as it should I'm gonna test them out on our treadmill my sister like I said just moved out so my parents have converted their basement from a bedroom into a gym so now I can stop working out in this tiny area yay for little things and somewhat expensive things <laughs> shiz let's get some shiz recommend the Hoka One Ones. They give a lot of cushion. I only ran for like less than half an hour, but I really feel like I feel the difference. I have done a half marathon, which is 21 kilometers before. So compared the Hoka One Ones to all the shoes that I have, I highly recommend it. It gives you so much cushioning and I love it. Um, this morning for brunch, I made some soup and noodles. I used some garlic, mushrooms, sauteed them, salt, pepper, deglazed with a little bit of chicken broth, added some chili flakes. I used some egg noodles, some eggs. I like to poach my eggs in the soup. So as soon as the soup is boiling and it's hot, it's pretty much ready to go. I'll top it up with some spinach and my green onions because those don't really need much time to cook. Um, at the very end, I'll add some sesame oil for that little extra flavor. Oh, I also decided last second that I wanted some peanut butter in this, so I also added some peanut butter for a little bit extra nuttiness and richness, and I do not regret. My parents both liked it. But yeah, this is it. If you know, you know. Hello, it is me. Just filmed my brown sugar boba lava milk tea cake, which should be out by the time this vlog is out, so check it out. I also always try to coordinate my clothing with the food that I've made, so this I felt was a beautiful milk tea color. <laughs> and the shirt was $10 at Uniqlo, and I think they were really trying to get rid of it because the reviews were all bad, because people were like, oh, it's so huge, it's so boxy, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I love this shirt. I really feel like it's like super cash, super cute, but I mean, I feel like I could still rock it like this. I don't know, kind of cute. If you like this necklace, I will link it in the description box so you can check her out um the person who made it i mean really like dressing up for my videos <laughs> like putting on makeup putting on jewelries accessories wearing the clothes i didn't get to wear out i just feel like a normal person it makes me feel so happy feeling good feeling good i was thinking about doing a little plant review what do you guys think about seeing all the plants you know what i'm just gonna do it So my hair cutting went well. So now I have curtain bangs. I literally got up, cut up my hair in the bathroom. And now I'm so tired. I woke up extremely early today. So I'm just out using my dad's hot tub. My dad was here with me earlier 
Um, he actually really likes it when I use the hot tub because then it shows my the rest of the family that he's not the only one using it and that it was a worthy purchase. So, you know, I'm glad to use it anytime that I can, but I'm relaxing, I feel good. Curtain bangs look kind of funny with the rest of my hair up because I look like a boy, but whatever. Look at my eye bag. Ooh. Cedric is here and he brought more wasabi almonds, but he also brought spicy chicken almond flavor. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, go. It's pretty good. Mmm. Tastes like a chicken wing. Oh. Tastes like a spicy chicken wing. <laughs> That's spicy. It's very spicy. So I've been procrastinating. I'm procrastinating right now. I'm going to be editing, but I've got a beverage on the side. It's the Mill Street Vanilla Porter. We're going to try it out. See how it is. Uh, we are attempting to bake bacon. <laughs> so far, it looks like a really bad idea. I'm sure right. it'll, it'll look better, better after... after it goes back in. Yeah. yeah. What's up with my hair? Nothing, it's just frizzy. <laughs> oh, really? Look at these beauties. a.m. but this whole day I've been working on my boba milk tea cake video so I've been working on that in advance because later this week when I would typically be editing I have to work on my dessert kits and the dessert kits are gonna take like a day or two of prep plus delivery and packaging and it's the biggest order I've had so far so pretty glad that I have some wonderful people to support to reward my hard work <laughs> I bought myself some skates and they're so cute oh my goodness like I can't wait to learn how to skate properly kombucha but a fun kombucha yeah kombucha is already fun though but yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie you hate kombucha no but it's pretty good next up we've got mill street breweries juicy union which is a vanilla extract pear juice drink why are you looking at me like that <laughs> Why they like this so much. What's that? Yeah. What? This is disgusting. You didn't even try it. <laughs> he literally had a beer last week that's like it tasted like vomit. Remember that one? It literally tastes like vomit. This one tastes like water. Yeah, it's really light, but it's like refreshing. Because it, it, you can taste the pear. And the vanilla. The vanilla adds like a nice fragrance. I don't taste fragrance. any of those. You taste that? Yeah. So remember how during the holidays we were actually repotting? <laughs> I forgot we vlogged that. Repotting our <laughs> cactuses and succulents into a pot. Well, a lot of them have died, so. Yeah, look, just look. See how hard it is to go in here? Mm hmm. Ew, yeah, he's dead. He's rotting. Goodbye, Sean. Mr. Corny Sean. Mm. By the way, I'm drinking Country Vibes Amber Lagered Ale by Bose, another craft beer. Um, it's alright. Kind of bitter. Kind of hot. Is it on? We're rolling. <laughs> okay. 
so we just finished all of our drop-offs for this Valentine's dessert kit. It was so successful. We went so far. We went pretty much, from, well, I don't know if you're familiar with Ontario, but we went from Whitby to Whit Mississauga, and we dropped off all of the kids. And now we're gonna reward ourselves with some sushi. Thank you. Cedric is now Sandrea. Why you always look so mad? I'm so hungry. Just feeling down in general. So this whole morning I tried to make wasabi almonds, which were honestly just not working out. I think it's the wasabi powder that I have because it's sort of like, it's got a weird flavor and it also needs to be activated with water, which doesn't really work with my almonds, but anyways. Like, I don't know why I'm so tired, but all I know is that I need rest. So, just chilling and making art. Good thing groomers are opening up soon. Look how fluffy she is. To get myself out of this funk, I decided to do some rollerblading and now I'm gonna do a run. Um, mostly because I couldn't decide which one I wanted to do and I wanna do both, so here it goes. I feel much better. I did about 30 minutes roller skating practice, then I did a 10 minute run, then I did about 10 to 15 minutes of strength work, um, and then I did 10 to 15 minute stretch. Made today a well-rounded exercise day and took it easy. There's always like that time of the month where everything makes me cry. <laughs> and because these are monthly vlogs, I guess you just see every time it happens, so. My monster has a new leaf. It looks super cute. It's only got one hole, so I'm assuming it's because of the amount of sun that they get up here, but it looks really cute. The tail end. Move that, baby. Go. Oh, <laughs> it didn't work. So that pretty much concludes my monthly vlog and I know it wasn't very eventful but you know cases have been getting worse in Canada and um, the variant is now on the rise so no news from the venue yet but I think we are most likely going to have to postpone our wedding another year. The thing about that is that I have to be able to fit in my dress. <laughs> So I gotta stay in tip-top shape for another year because I do not want to pay another $400 for alterations. So if you're still watching, thanks for watching. I will have some new videos coming out. Um, I'm planning to do how to make Tom's Farms wasabi almonds. I have a video on Earl Grey Leche Flan and I still plan on making that video about my plants. So I'll also film my progress for my roller skating stuff just because it's a fun hobby and my punch needling stuff. So trying to keep busy and expect many, many more videos. Thank you for watching. If you like watching my monthly vlogs, please let me know. And I hope you're staying safe. Hope you're staying sane and see you next week. Bye. Um, I was like, oh, do you still need this?